channel. In today's video, I thought I would get it all done with you. I have so much to organize and so much to clean and so much to put away and meal prep and meal plan and all that good things. So yeah, I thought I would take you along with me. Excuse my voice, it is a bit raspy because I went away, I, I flew to the Gold Coast and you know how it is when you fly, you can pick up things because your immunity is lowered. So I am feeling not 100%, which is so annoying. But yeah, you just gotta push through it, Tiana, and do the things. Let me know if you feel the same. Mums never get a rest, trust me. So yeah, let's get into it. And if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do is put on the crock pot because I wanna cook dinner. I think it's like, it's one o'clock now. It takes five hours in the crock pot. And yeah, I thought I would show you this recipe. I haven't tried it before, so we're trying it together, but it's super easy and it basically uses all the ingredients that you have in your cupboard. So I'll go through it with you guys and we'll see how it is. So I did write the recipe down and it's a vegan chili and it requires two sweet potatoes, one onion, two carrots, and a whole heap of herbs and spices, so paprika, cumin, garlic, chili, oregano, and then 160 gram, I think it is, um, like a little can of tomato pu puree. Then we have a capsicum, however much you want, I guess, two canned tomatoes, and two cans of beans. Okay, so I'm just cutting up the veggies and putting them directly into the crock pot. I um, have left the seeds in because I don't really care. And I'm definitely not a picky cook, but you can de-seed them. These are just like mini capsicums, but if you do have a big one, then you can cut the seeds out. I've also put the onion in and I'm going to add some garlic and heat that up. So, so I'm going to be adding two to three probably three teaspoons of garlic, which is basically one teaspoon is equivalent to a clove. All right, so whilst this cooks, I'm going to continue cutting up the vegetables. Okay, so I'm just adding the sweet potato and carrots just to brown them up and soften them.
So I've just placed it on height, but I'm going to add 250 mils of water and mix that in. And then you cook it for five hours on high. Okay. Pop this one back on. I just had to get Theo because he won't go to sleep. He's been skipping his nap. Pull your little shirt down. Okay, so we're gonna get Theo some lunch. All right, I'm just giving Theo a little bit of coconut almond yogurt whilst his pasta is cooking. So later on, I'm going to be making a mac and cheese sauce with these cashews. So I'm just going to soak a cup of cashews in this glass for a few hours, and then we'll get back to this recipe. So Theodore is going to his pops tomorrow because I start back up at uni. So I'm just going to be making his lunch so it's ready to go in the morning. Alright, so I just cooked up some macaroni for Theo and I'm going to show you a really simple sauce to get your toddlers to eat food. So I'm not really doing anything by measurements, I'm just like eyeballing it and I'm adding like a scoop of Nautilus butter um, for some healthy fats. I'm also adding the rest of some avocado. I typically do more avocado but this is all I have on hand. Our main focus with this pasta is adding like the healthy fat. Oh no! Then I'm adding a dash of soy milk to make it a little more creamy. Yeah. I have these nutritional yeast flakes that I'll be adding for the cheesy taste. Be generous with the cheesy mac. Lastly, I'm adding this cashew cream cheese. I typically make my own, but we haven't really thought that far ahead, so I'm gonna add some of this in. Just a scoop. So this is just a really great recipe if you have a fussy toddler like me because it's full of healthy fats. And I do normally use the pasta that's made out of like beans and legumes for extra protein, but right now I just have this macaroni on hand. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what I packed Theodore for lunch tomorrow. So I did pack him the creamy cheese pasta with good fats. I packed him this fruity pouch and some strawberries, dried apple and some chocolate almonds that are diced up really small. He is eating nuts now, but I do like to cut them really, really tiny. All right, guys, it is almost done it smells so good i'm going to rinse the beans and add them in so the recipe does say to add in black beans and red beans 30 minutes to an hour before you serve so i'll probably serve this in about half an hour these beans are canned so they're already softened but i'm just gonna mix this in now gonna be so good also I just wanted to mention I didn't add too much chili into this whole dish because Isaac and Theodore don't like chili well Theo's a bit young but I'm going to add extra chili to my bowl because I love a good chili you can also cook quinoa or rice with this 
but I'm just gonna make this as is. As so today I'm showing you this really easy recipe. We are making some cashew sour cream. So all you need is some apple cider vinegar, a lemon, some cashews, and a little bit of sea salt, and a blender. I'm just pouring in a cap full of apple cider vinegar and that's one cup worth of cashews guys and then I'm squeezing all this lemon in so I'm just adding half a teaspoon of salt adding a little bit of water because it's not blending like smoothly and just like eyeball the consistency so you want it creamy and slightly thick but not too thick and not too runny This is such an easy recipe to make and it's really high in protein. I normally add these to salads or I'm actually going to add it to the crock pot meal. So I just put Theodore down to sleep and now I'm going to clean up the house because guys, I'm not gonna lie, it it's messy. Just to give you a little bit of insight, look at this. Theodore got into the tissue box and I did pick them up, I'm gonna be honest. But then we have all of this.
guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this meal prep and clean with me. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. These recipes are super easy to make, so I will link them in the description box. And yeah, if you did like this video, don't forget to subscribe and have a great one. Bye, guys.